Hey guys, how are you doing? So I had a couple requests, a couple people asked me, probably the younger guys, uh, they want to see the collection, you know, little collection update. I actually did my only collection video, it was like my first or second video ever. So I figure let's let's do it, let's share with you guys how my collection grew and what changed and what not. So it will be it will probably take a little while but some of you might want to see what's in here, what everything is on this pegboard and especially knowing what is what. I'll try, I don't remember all the names but you know I'll try my best. Uh, so let's start, let's start with the EDC. EDC always either F1 or this Hest is in my backpack with this uh, with the PS key you know a little personal survival kit on the sheet when I when I'm at work I always have my little man charge with me always have the Swiss Army knife farmer in my little pouch in the Maxpedition Janus pack on my on my back on my waist uh, main blade I switch sometimes, most of the time is para tool because I just love that knife. I've been carrying the UK PK for a couple of days. I keep switching the main one just for the hell of it, just for, you know, I like them. Carry the ram sometimes and, you know, all different knives. And on my neck always my little Vigitashi. It used to be a dragonfly before a uh, ladybug, but now, ever since I got them, always my Vigidashi. These things are wicked sharp and you know they work perfect and especially me with the in the city they just don't scare people nobody even know it's you know whatever it is and uh, whatever I need to cut whatever I need to open it just works perfect and it actually slices stuff like cardboard probably better than most of knives for some reason I don't know why it just slices car a cardboard really well so what do you have in the house still for the testing purposes the two knives from KSR uh, uh, knives big chopper and uh, iron clad from uh, Captain Jeff still working on the videos for them I have the Habilis bush tool which I actually just bought yesterday not this one the new one I ordered it last night so that's gonna be coming soon also another thing what's coming soon are two new spider commules I couldn't resist it I sent the one what I made before to my father so I ordered myself two new ones uh, cold steel super edge if I remember right uh, it used to be serrated now it's plain I used to carry this for a little bit as an ankle knife but it kind of it was kind of silly I never really you need you know it wasn't bothering me but I always I kept forgetting to put it on my ankle but it was it's a really nice knife if you're looking for something small very concealable you know that secure egg shit that comes with it and you just put the velcro straps on it you don't you trust me you do not know that you have anything on your ankle little old old customized one of the first customized attempts K-bar dozier mini dozier with the thumb opening Kershaw little folding knife Swiss army knife from my very good friend Steve the fish uh, folder from Slovakia very very dear to me you know my memories from childhood Gerlach nice knife from Casper very nice gift then we have uh, my old old one of my first knives I think actually Ladybug then I have two bird bird knives. One is a gift from the G10 version is a gift from Nico, mediocre pirate, and the uh, FRN version is a gi very nice gift from uh, Tripod and Pablo. Uh, you know, I really, really value. They are great folks. All of this, all of these friends, I'm, I'm gonna be mentioning throughout the collection. Then I have my Sog Micron. Uh, I don't remember the Gerber name. The cheap little Gerber. Then I have the whole collection of the small stainless spider cos uh, back, which the sinister little slash is carrying. <laughs> Honeybee, grasshopper, and kiwi. Kiwi again, a gift from my very good friend Nico. Sanremu 763, sweet little knife, sweet sweet knife. Then I have this little gift, Barlow knife. I think if I remember right, that was from my buddy Muddy Desire if I'm not mistaken then I have a long ongoing project in uh, the French oh jeez 
Opinel number 7 then I have a little browning knife still in testing from my friend uh, Jay Humble then you see my customized persistence then there is another gift I don't remember the name of the user but he's not making videos he just offered me he, he was planning to buy something from me and he sent it as a gift to me nice uh, lockback folding knife then we have a spider copersist uh, tenacious I can't touch that one that was a gift from my girl she won't let me customize that one <laughs> then we have a very very my very favorite knives spider co s both of them uh, silver one was from the trade from Vilzak and uh, black one is from my good buddy uh, Canadian knife girl Darian I, I can't thank you guys enough for letting me get these two I wanted them for a long time uh, what's uh, this is a custom knife uh, I got in you know he, he gave it to me and gave, gave him something back for it I still didn't have time to do anything with it uh, troop 66 guide good guy my uh, K bar Beshboga, I love that knife, but you know, ever since I got Vijidashi, you know, it pretty much I don't have a need for another utility blade. Then I have my only automatic knife, uh, Companion in ATS 34 steel. Then there is a couple of the Chinese, you know, copies and Chinese cheap blades, one of also one of the, you know, those started of my collection. Those are only what are actually even worth to have them out. I have still like a case of crap from China <laughs> what I started with then I have the two tomahawks one customized frontier pipe hawk and one regular frontier hawk uh, then there is my Beretta airsoft then we have the cold steel what is it called special forces shovel if I remember right then there is that you know cheap uh, atrapa you know copy of a blade sword from the movie blade then I have a, some cheap Chinese tanto knife the two two new knives from my father two new hunting knives Japanese hatchet from my good friend and really good guy and very skilled guy virtual vice then there is if you can pick it up that's a blackie Collins that's all plastic knife uh, assisted opening the whole knife is from plastic on the spring is I thought it was pretty cool it was kind of funny it's it's like a cheap toy, but I thought it was a funny idea. My Griptilian from ATF. Uh, bug knife, elk special version from my friend Ryan RRX. Boker, oh, what is it? Beat, uh, beak? No, I don't remember. Something too. BA2, I think. Then we have uh, Gerber Metalius. Spiderco UKPK Rescue in orange FRN handles Gin, uh, very nice gift, very unexpected gift from my friend Kyle Led Zeppelin <laughs> Kershaw Ram, one of my favorite knives Buck, Buck Light, small fixed blade, very good knife for the money Awesome little fixed blade, really good one Spiderco Chicago, discontinued with carbon fiber handles uh, one of the older blades is Smith & Wesson Dagger, boot knife, interesting knife but kinda pointless. Then my winning prize from Ryan RRX contest, K Bardogier, the, I think it's the full size one. There is customized Becker Remora, most of people would not recognize that that's, that's changed a lot with the glow in the dark handles. Then we have a uh, spider called Dragonfly. I bought it from Mediocre Pirate again, my friend Nico. Then we have Benchmate 53, the only Bali song I will ever own. The only one I would I'm willing to own. Very cool knife, I think. I hear it's not for flipping, but I, I in my opinion that's the best looking Bali song ever because it actually looks like regular knife, not like a Bali song. <laughs> then we have the Benchmark neck knife. Zero Tolerance ZT0200 Awesome knife, just like really big and really heavy but it's just the construction and everything is superb Then we have Nieto knife, Nieto Cheyenne Spanish knife maker, very nice knife, again gift from my father 
Then we have my customized Becker, uh, sorry, uh, Bar Griver Bravo Necker tool with customized uh, micarta handles. Then we have some older bug hunting knife I got as a gift from my friend uh, Steve again. Then there is Izula hiding behind behind the handle of my katana. And now down to the big knives. Falkneven A1 and F1 back there. Then we have that big crazy katana machete to, uh, that originally was two-handed called steel katana. I now changed the handle. That's I really like that sword. That's just a beautiful showpiece. Then we have a cold steel recon scout, Tom Brown tracker, customized Becker BK7, cold steel Kukri machete, awesome value. That is a great working tool. 20 bucks and you you will never break it. You can you have to sharpen it but it's just so much fun for so little money. My customized K bar fin clip point uh, one of my favorite what I did very awesome Ontario Kukri knife quarter inch thick full flat grind 1095 sick blade sick chopper dangerous too <laughs> that's the one that got my fingers very nice knife is Omnivore Blade Works my friend Jared Corey very talented knife maker just recently featured in a tactical knives magazine so I hope he's doing really good because he really deserves it. And same goes for this one. This is his buoy Americanas and that's his Tanto Ferret. He has great and unique designs and he's doing really awesome work. That is my uh, Becker BK9 that was given to me by Ethan Becker himself as a gift. I really am thankful for that. He's an awesome guy. I wish you guys could have a chance to meet him. You would it would be a you know memory for the rest of your life he's just he's just so much fun you wouldn't believe all the gentlemen but you know a lot of stories a lot of knowledge and a lot of fun then we have a customized machete from Ontario these two used to be same you know you can see I changed the clip do a little more clip point so you can dig with it a little more this one is hair shaving sharp this one isn't yet this used to be this plastic handle. This is beautiful Micarta handle now with the glow in the dark inserts. Then we have a Becker Escabar, Becker BK2, customized County Cam Breach Bar. You know, this is really one of a kind. Then we have a Cold Steel Sock for Imacheri, the small one. I think that's a 12 inch if I remember right. Then we have a Becker Necker. Sanremu 710, gift from my friend Jay Humble, and we are back to that 200 cost steel machete. And there you see the contest price is actually hanging and ready. The be customized Becker Necker with Jidashi and the Condor Wind Fang with the glow in the dark handle. And uh, I think that's it. There's one little knife, kind of like a shock knife, again given to me as a gift from my friend Ryan RRX. He got it from I don't know where. It's just like it's a little crappy knife, but it works great, you know. Scan, scan the knife, and I don't have to worry about ruining it. I cut everything with it, and then just sharpen it. You know, nice little, nice little shop knife. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Stay safe. And remember, don't cut yourself. They are sharp. <laughs>